Hey everybody, Ken here, KD9AQM, and I'm going to try and go over everything you ever want to know about running a net or operating as a net control operator. Now each net's going to be a little bit different. Uh, the ones that we run for Manitowoc County, the Aries Racy's net, uh, pretty simple. Uh, I would recommend doing a couple of things before you get started. Before running that, you know, make sure you have a pen and paper for backup. You don't have to write down people who check in. Uh, you can use a computer or uh, you know, whatever device you have handy. Uh, typically, I use a pen and paper. Uh, but stop by our website here, uh, Manitowoc County Aries Races. It's mcariesraces.org. And then stop by local nets here. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have your radio on the right frequency. Typically we use the 895 repeater, <clears throat> so make sure that's set up in your radio uh, for the Aries Racies net. Then uh, you can find out, let's see, when your turn is on the net control calendar here. Uh, it'll have your call sign and the date. We keep that updated. Uh, but uh, you'll also want the let me get back here, net control skip uh, script, which is a document that basically uh, you read from it, and that's how you run the net. So uh, once you download that and print it, that, that's what I recommend, uh, just in case power goes out, computer freezes up, whatever, uh, you'll have that in front of you. Uh, and then you turn the radio on, and at the appropriate time, uh, just start the net. And uh, I'm going to walk you through this uh, right now, so let's go right to our radio. W9RES7BM. Good evening, this is KD9 IBT John in Manitowoc County calling the Aries and Racies net for Manitowoc County. I'll be your net control station tonight. This net meets Tuesdays at 7 p.m. or whenever its services are needed. This is a directed net and open to all Aries Racies stations, and visitors are also welcome. The purpose of this net is to ensure proper understanding between Aries Racy stations, to share information, and to become better prepared for public service and emergency communications. I will now take a standby for any emergency or priority traffic. Please call KD9 IBT Net Control Station at this time. Hearing no stations, I would now request all registered Manitowoc County Aries Racy stations to check into this net using their call sign phonetically. Please list any traffic with your check-in. I also request that in and out check-ins remain on frequency through the announcements to immediately follow. To minimize doubling, please break your transmission after calling net control to verify that you are not doubling with someone else. Please call KD9 IBT net control at this time. So at this point, you're just going to listen for people to check in. Net control. This is KD9 AQM, Kilo Delta Niner Alpha Quebec Mike Ken in Manitowoc with no traffic. Net control. Kilo Charlie 9 Hotel Quebec Victor, Mike in Manitowoc, no traffic. Lots of good. 
that information. February 16th, uh, we have a antenna build party that's going to be for our tape measure antenna. Uh, on the 16th of February, that Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon, we're going to do the attenuator assembly. And then the following month, March 16th from 9 a.m. to noon, we're going to do the antenna assembly and put the two parts together. And just because I know we got folks out there interested, I um, wanted to remind everyone that our uh, exam sessions that are in the area on the 26th of January in Appleton, Wisconsin, Fox Cities Radio Club is hosting an exam session at 8 a.m. Uh, the 16th of February in Fond du Lac, there's an exam session, and the 9th of March in Plymouth, there is an exam session. I'll now take a break for any out of area out-of-county Aries Racy stations. If you're out-of-county Aries Racy stations, please call KD9 IBT net control at this time. Hearing none, we'll go now open it up to all non-Aries Racy stations wishing to check in. Please call KD9 IBT net control at this time. Call sign phonetically. Any station, anywhere, please call KD9 IBT. KB9 IBT. Good evening. Number 9 American Wire Gauge. No traffic. Net control. Alpha Alpha 9 Sierra Juliet. AA9 SJ down in Sheboygan County. No traffic. Good evening. Very well. The net recognizes N9 AWG, Ross and Manitowoc, and AA9 SJ, Stephen Sheboygan. Uh, this time we'll go ahead and start our second goes. Um, not much for me. I uh, was able to do my second guitar lesson tonight. I uh, had a lot of fun with that, and I've been enjoying uh, learning how to play those six strings on that uh, uh, on the guitar. Um, otherwise, work's been busy and um, not looking forward to the colder weather that I guess we have coming in. Go ahead and we'll turn it over here to Ken, KD9 AQM. Please, Ken, go ahead with your second go. Well, good evening, everyone listening on the net. Uh, those who have checked in and those who are just out there on the dark lurking, uh, yes, we're talking to you. <laughs> Nothing much going on around here, just trying to stay warm and out of the weather, which is going to be the opposite of what I'm going to be doing uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, let me uh, reset for a second. <clears throat> Give me a chance to collect my thoughts. But uh, yeah, I'll be uh, camping uh, with some of the other folks there who are uh, trying to raise money for the Haven, which is a men's homeless shelter for Manitowoc County, so it covers the entire county. And they do this once a year, trying to raise money to uh, keep the lights on, stuff like that. Uh, and build awareness of uh, how the homeless uh, live their lives. You know, they, they don't necessarily get to uh, come into the warm all the time. And the program they run at the Haven, uh, not everybody gets into. you got to get kind of qualified for that. So uh, uh, trying to help those guys out. And uh, what I'm going to try and do, hopefully, is uh, being it's going to be field day uh, or winter field day, uh, contesting. Uh, let me reset for a second. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, make some contacts as well as camp out, and maybe I'll get a few extra points in the contest. <laughs> but hopefully, I'll get uh, some sponsors to uh, say, give me a few pennies or something like that per contact, and uh, all that money will be donated to the Haven uh, for their fundraiser. And that's uh, kind of what we're gearing up for this time. Um, I can't think of any other radio or club related news uh, that's fit for the public as yet. But uh, we did have a successful inventory over the weekend, uh, got all our stuff uh, down and uh, we're going to be bringing some more stuff over Thursday. And uh, there's a potential uh, based on a couple of our members of the club, large club, that we may have a ham fest sometime in the spring, who knows. But uh, we know we're going to have a couple of brat fests uh, toward the... Uh, the summer and early fall so hopefully everybody will be uh, in the mood for that that's about all i've got i don't want to hog the radio i know mike's got a lot to say so uh back to you net control this is kd9 aqm very well ken uh wanted to mention to 
see uh, regarding the um, Winter Field Day and the Haven fundraiser, uh, there's a member up in Kiwani County he's with the Kiwani Aries Racing. His name is Larry, KD9WTC. And when I checked into their net on Sunday morning, he was interested in that. Uh, I gave him my phone number and he was going to text to me so I could forward your video to him, the link to your video, but I never heard from him. So maybe I'll see if I can't uh, look him up on um, either QRZ or even see if I can raise him on the radio. He's on the radio quite a bit. Uh, so just uh, at least one other operator. Uh, I'm hoping to get out there for a little while, but at least one other operator that's interested in coming out there and doing some stuff. Next on the list is KC9HQV, Mike in Manitowoc. Go ahead, sir. There's KC9HQV, Mike here. Um, I'm just uh, working on getting my uh, uh, wind, uh, wind link um, uh, messages uh, uh, sent out um, over Pactor. Um, other than that, I haven't really uh, too much uh, else to uh, add. Um, I guess I'll be uh, helping out with when we move the other equipment over uh, to uh, the roll air, and uh, that's about all I got here. Very good, Mike. Thank you very much. And uh, just to kind of throw it out there for anybody else that's interested in listening or has checked in, on Thursday, 4.30 p.m. we are going to meet um, at the craft uh, site, which is just down the street from the, I guess, Craft Builders, I think is the name of it, just down the street from the Manitowoc Airport, and transfer some equipment and inventory from the Mancorad uh, Club to the Lars kind of Lakeshore Amateur Radio Group Club. And so if anybody is interested in coming out and helping us carry some stuff up and down the stairs and and such, uh, let us know and we'll uh, get you some more information. Next on my list is Ralph N9 AWG. Your turn, Ralph. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you, John. N9 AWG here. Uh, yeah, that's craft or roofing. Craft or roofing. So, listening to your first uh, guitar uh, class, and good job for you. That's I like to be. I love the music. So I had a friend of mine used to play a 12 string, and I couldn't understand how he could, you know, play that 12 string with the size of his hands. But that's just a fantastic instrument. So that sounds good. Yeah, Sunday it was supposed to be about 10 degrees, uh, 10 degrees in Manitowoc. So like Ken, I'm going to be hiding most definitely. And that's about all I have here. I was just really glad that I could help you guys out Saturday. And uh, it was a lot of hard work, but uh, I kind of made it. So uh, no laughing now either. And 9 AWG is clear. Repeater W9 R E N. Well, Ralph, there is no way we could have done it without you. I mean, the the work that you put in there on Saturday was just phenomenal, and and you really need to be commended. Uh, I had a buddy of mine in the Navy that played the 12 string guitar, and uh, always was pretty amazed at what he was able to accomplish. And, I thought, you know, I got work done pretty good, and uh, I'm enjoying some new hobbies. I'm not quite retired yet, but uh, doing the ham radio stuff and doing the guitar stuff, I thought would be kind of fun. So, um, but yeah, uh, look forward to uh, hibernating myself this weekend. I am on call this weekend, so hopefully I won't get called out too much. Uh, next on our list is Steve down in uh, Sheboygan County, AA9SJ. Steve, go ahead, sir, with your second go. Good evening, John. Nice group uh, this evening. AA9SJ, Steve down in Sheboygan, where we've got uh, well, about 28 degrees right now. I think our high today might have been 32 at best. And a nice uh, brisk wind. Coming from, I think, southwest. When I went out to get the mail, it was uh, pushing pretty good on my back. Other than that, uh, it's January, so this must be FT8 month for me. I, uh, it's the second year I've done that. In the dead of winter here, I uh, upgraded to the new FT8 software and been running that for, well, let's see, six, about roughly 16 days, maybe 12 days back and look, but I've got, uh, well, I've got about 75 contacts, I think 45 states this year, I had 48 last year, uh, North Dakota, the Dakotas, both of them are difficult for me here, but uh, this new software goes a little faster, they skip the line and it uh, dropped the line, it's more uh, 
cruiser friendly and uh, with the condition of the band as far as uh, CW and uh, voice, this is kind of the way to go. It's, uh, again, pretty user, user friendly. I've been uh, shredding paper while I'm operating here. You just uh, click on a call sign and the computer does the rest. about it from Sheboygan. You guys stay warm up there. Uh, I don't think it's going to be much better down here. But uh, that's way off in the weekend here. we got a lot, a lot of time between now and then. K89 IBT, A9SJ. Thank you, Steve. I always appreciate you checking into the Manitowoc Net. Uh, I actually was, uh, in the last few months here, been playing with the, uh, playing with the FT8 as well and uh, was able to achieve my all state uh, worked all states on 40 meters. Um, I'm about eight states away from uh, completing it on 80 meters. Um, but I'm with you. After a while, you kind of want to do something different. So um, I've had fun with it, and it's an uh, interesting mode. And so, um, but uh, interested in doing some more stuff, uh, something different, maybe some more voice stuff and some of the other different modes. So uh, at this time, we'll go ahead and make a last call. Are there any other late time stations, Aries, Racy? or otherwise wishing to check in, please call K-9 IBT Net Control at this time using your call sign phonetically. Okay, here is no one. Sometimes we catch Mac, K-9 KDO, right here at the end. Uh, he's getting out of class, but uh, didn't hear him this evening. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, anybody else have anything for the good of the net? Okay, hearing no additional stations or no additional comments, I will now close the net and turn the repeater back over to normal amateur use. I want to thank you for checking in this evening and uh, hope everybody stays warm and we will talk to you right here next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, for our next uh, Manitowoc Aries County uh, net. At this time, we'll go ahead and turn the repeater back over to normal amateur use. This is KD9 IBT Net Control. Well, that wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> now it's pretty easy. Just follow the script, go along, uh, make sure you have your pen and paper so you can mark down people who check in, and you're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions about running a net, or maybe you want to practice doing it before you do one for real or whatever, uh, we'll we'll work something out. Uh, holler at us, give us a call, email, shoot us up on Facebook, Facebook or whatever, uh, and we'll work something out because we do want you to be comfortable running a net. And you know, it wasn't long ago that I wasn't running any nets, and it was a little bit uh, tentative about getting online, you know, getting the mic and all that kind of stuff. But uh, once you do it a couple of times, it's really not you know that hard at all. It's, it's you don't have to be nervous and stuff like that. Um, People who are introverts like me uh, have to kind of overcome that. Maybe it takes a little bit longer than someone who's more outgoing. But uh, it's really not that hard, as you can tell. Uh, if I can do it, <laughs> anybody can do it. And John did a fine job there. You can tell that he went off script a couple of times, and that's okay. Uh, it's your net. Your net control. You can do what you want to do. The uh, script is there for a guideline, basically to keep us on track and make sure that we get the information that we need uh, to get done. And then after you run the net, uh, you saw the little yellow highlight there. Make sure you email that to John so he can uh, put that in our records. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you've got ideas for other videos that you would like to be done, uh, just let me know. Bye-bye. 73.